Indies got away with this final Cornhill Test match at the Oval on Saturday when they launched a brilliant counter-attack against England's bowlers. Today, England have the task of bowling them out in uh, this, the third innings of the game, and setting themselves a reasonable target for victory or giving themselves time for the draw. West Indies start the day on 284 for seven. Desmond Haynes, 111 not out, and Roger Harper is 14. New ball is due very shortly, so England have a chance. And we pick up play now in the fifth over of the morning. Seven runs have been added to the overnight total. Paul Allett is the bowler, and it's Roger Harper taking strike. Right on to pad there, but to fly away behind instead of uh, in that short square leg position. That's what the short leg is there for, hoping that that uh, nudge from the bat onto the pad is going in his direction. That one going a uh, good deal finer. Beautifully taken. What a great catch that was by Paul Downton. Harper goes, Allett strikes, and really a first-class catch. Won't see him any better there. I mean, to change directions, took it inches off the ground. As that ball caught the inside edge and flew away down the leg side. So, 293 for eight, with Harper gone for 17. Yes, a little bit of bounce, a little bit of nip back here for Paul Allett. It gets an inside edge, you can see that it's bounced thigh-high. And uh, really a, a magnificent catch there by Downton because he would be fractionally going the other way until the ball started to move and any wicketkeeper in the world would have been very pleased with that catch. Two for 72 now, I'll let two for 51 Agnew, three for 60 Ellison and Botham's one, costing 79. I'll let to Haynes. Short and four runs. Well, it's been pretty typical this of uh, Desmond Haynes. Resolute in defence, anything that wanted punishing has had the treatment. So 300 rattled up on the board, 121 of those to the opener. So both them in, he's got uh, Michael Holden to Bolton now. Bolton the bouncer, and that's magnificently struck. That was really a great shot. That's, I presume, why Michael Holdings were in the helmet and why he's not afraid, even as a fast bowler at number 10, to play that shot. Yes, and a fine shot, this. Again, the use of a new ball and uh, covered very well over square leg. One thing about these West Indian tail end batsmen, they're not afraid to play the hook shot. from Michael Holding. Just make it before the fielder. Yes, and a good shot here by Michael Holding. Whenever the ball's there to be hit, he's never frightened to hit it, and he hit that very well indeed through the covers. A little bit off the back foot, his weight wasn't just right, but uh, the ball went for four, and that's what matters. Stop. Good shot. Yeah, that's some fearful hammer, Michael Holding. A great stop by Graham Fowler out at cover. And you can't really set a field for that. That's pitched three parts of the way to the boundary off the back foot. And Holding is just starting now to do what he did in those other two innings earlier this summer. Yes, and the, this was tremendous power because this went over mid-off. And the say, carried three quarters away to the boundary, went to the boundary very quickly indeed.
Oh, heavens. That's a fantastic shot. He's gone for six. He's picked it up. I don't know if he thought it was uh, outside leg stump or not, but a little bit of late swing just brought it onto the bat nicely. Well, they always say you want to put a low full toss or full length or whatever to keep the batsman from scoring, but that really on this ground is a tremendous blow because that must be 100 yards of carry. And he's gone. Desmond Haynes goes. Well, Ian Botham is giving it... Uh, the point to the fans in the west and showing them the stumps but uh, Haynes has still made 100 and the West Indies is still 350 ahead not sure it's quite the time for pointing at anything A standing ovation for Desmond Haynes. Played really well. Held this innings together. Until both of them got him with the one that came back from outside off stump. Little inside edge. Back onto the stumps. off the mark well almost oh, and he gets runs possibly five Ellis coming around like a greyhound around the boundary and they'll only make it four four to Joel Garner what a mix up Garner pushed Holding didn't want to go at all Holding wanted to keep the strike and in fact did so in the end and Fowler had gathered in. Garner now has to try and turn back. Holding decides to go. Fowler throws. And away it scoots through across the outfield. And that's out. And he walked. Didn't even bother to wait and see. Absolutely plum. The Yorker getting through there with Holding trying to smash it away on the onside. The innings is over for 346. That's a very impressive looking scorecard for the West Indians in the context of this test match. 346 all out. Haynes 125. Harper 17. And Holding a very good 30 with Garner 10 not out. And two good partnerships there today. First of all, Haynes and Holding, and then the last wicket partnership between Holding and Garner. The England bowlers, well, the ones not used today were Pocock, Agnew and Ellison. Both of them finished with three for 103. Allett, two for 96. And it means now that England have to make 375 to win this match. I've got a feeling they've never made 375 in the fourth innings of a test match against West Indies to win, lose or draw, so it really is a most formidable task. Here's the first over of the innings. Malcolm Marshall is the bowler. There are no runs on the board, and Graham Fowler is taking strike. First runs for Graham Fowler. Baptiste the fielder, they'll settle for a single. Well, this is uh, Chris Broad, just uh, one ball left to face in this over. Test of two, first ball, quick, lifting. And, uh, Chris Broad doing pretty well there to take evasive action. A really quick delivery, this. Joel Garner from the Vauxhall end. 
So Broad finally underway. A couple of runs here for him. And uh, that'll be a relief for the not so opening bat. It's uh, moving along now. It must be nearing completion. And uh, the feelers are going in now. Looks uh, jolly good, isn't it? Watching it, but uh, shake of the hand there from Barry Mayer. Obviously, under the impression that ball didn't carry. It, uh, looked uh, very close indeed, Ted Dexter. Yes, well, that was the one he brought the man up for on the offside. It actually went leg side, and um, if Graham Fowler hasn't moved. He's quite sure it wasn't out. And the umpire agrees with him. And I actually, I think by the time the fielder had really got it in his hands, I think he realised also, Desmond Haynes, that it must have just flicked the ground. That's gone very fine. That's racing away for four runs. A nice bit of movement by the feet there by Graham Fowler. Got it in position quickly. Just uh, flicked it away down the fine leg. A well caught by Viv Richards. It might have been a straight catch in the sense that it went straight to him, but it was dropping very sharply. And Richard's safe hand has gathered it in. Marshall has taken the first wicket. No addition to the total after lunch. Fowler is gone. Yes, and uh, Viv made this look very easy indeed when, in fact, uh, it was right down by his bootlaces and he caught it very easy. Safe for four. Fortune here for Chris Tavare. It's not often many go through or over that uh, West Indian uh, slip feelers, but it seems to just go over the top of them there. That's... Well, did that carry? Looked as though it might have done. Yes, delivery there, running across Chris Broad, and uh, I think this just... Yes, it just did carry. That should bring 50 on the board for England. And we might think about three here, and they do. So applause for the uh, 50 going up, 51 for one, with uh, Broadshire now 28. Shot. Now I shall field it. Like a in swing in Yorker there. Oh, drifting in with the arm. So there it is, Broad uh, 39 has received 104 balls now. His uh, partner, Tavre, has received just 103. at all he has to go on that uh, a really vicious delivery not the great deal that Brock could do about it tried to pull himself away at the last minute but really had no chance 
And a depressed deduction. It's taken him a long time to leave the wicket. And obviously most disappointed. Good shot. Short, forced beautifully off the back foot by Gower. So a nice way to get off the mark. Holding again, Tavre to face. And turned away nicely off his legs. It's gone quite quickly down to Gomes, so there's only a single. As, uh, as Ray said, every guy's going to play shots. <laughs> oh, bold, yes, and it's gone. The over pitch ball again, the one that he pitches up, just a shade of movement. Yeah, moving across, I think we'll just about hit something like leg stump. Well, that's a bit of blow for England. 88 for three now with Gar LBW to hold him. Now you can see that delivery again from Michael Olney, both from near the stumps, pitches on about leg in the middle there and definitely goes back in to David Gower and that looks pretty plumb to me. catch Haynes has gone mad Alan Lamb goes it's 90 for 4 and that went off the butt like a rocket tremendous reaction catch at forward short leg holding strikes again and in the middle of all that is Desmond Haynes yes full length ball here Alan Lamb just pushes through it off the middle of the back and it didn't go straight to Hayes, he had to make a lot of ground and the distance he stood to the bat, that really is a tremendous effort and he knows it is and so do the rest of the West Indians, they're absolutely delighted with that magnificent catch. decide to give it a go as well. Three to both of them. for that, Gomes is the fielder. And in fact, it'll go through to the boundary. The upfield is quickened up a little. And Bolton now goes on to 14. Michael Holding now for shorter run. He's got three wickets with the long run, but he's back to about 15 paces now. And more runs for Tavare. So Roger Harper is the man there, but even Harper had no chance of picking that up. And that's a nice shot. Went in the air. But it's four runs. Now, this switch in tactics is very, very sensible. Whatever Tabray can pick up now will spread the field. Square cut straight past Greenwich at short gully.
both of them surveying the scene there on uh, 16. And Marshall back into the attack. Good shot. Beautifully timed there by Chris Tavry. That takes him on to 49. Well, the best stroke Chris Tavry has played. Perfect timing off his legs. So 44 put on by this uh, fifth wicket pair. Both of them has made 17 and 49 to Tavry. Garner to Boulder both them. It's been the pattern for a little while there, both of them taking one off the first ball. That's gone. And Richards has taken it, Tavare goes for 49. And the end of a fine fighting innings from uh, Chris Tavare, but he's the fifth man out, 135. Beautifully snapped up there by Richards. Quite to the pitch of it, as you could see. Richards moving easily to his left, snaps it up. And Downton off the mark. So Marshall in again. A short one, he's hooked it high and it's uh, gone for four. Just cleared the deep square leg there. Not by a great deal. Placed out there for the catch. Marshall looking for vengeance. That's the way both of them disposed of him yesterday. Or Saturday, rather. an easy single there and uh, seems the West Indies are quite happy to give uh, both of them that single takes them on to the 150 mark Edge, but uh, dropping fancy just short of Clive Lloyd there. Rare blemish by Danton, who's made very few errors outside the off stump in this series. And it will be Paul Danton's straight bat and determination that will be needed tomorrow to stay with Ian Botham. Botham on 32 and Danton two in that total of 151 for five. The bowling figures for the West Indies. A superb performance that, Marshall one wicket, Garner one, but a blistering attack from Michael Holding. He bowled off his long run, he had 41 taken from 12 overs, but they wouldn't mind about that because he's picked up three wickets. No wicket for Baptiste and Harper, but a magnificent performance from Michael Holding. And it left, at the end of the day, England still requiring, well, only 224 more runs to win. But I must say, that seems many a mile away because the West Indies need only five wickets to have a clean sweep in this series by five to nil.